Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Welcome to the Abuki Cabal Show. What's happening, y'all? So I just, uh, finished up this uh, Courtney versus Tawana situation on uh, Lapeef Let's Talk. Um, this was a longer video. Um, it's actually been broken up into some smaller bits, but um, it's uh, covering accountability, you know, and why black women just find it so difficult to uh, take uh, personal accountability, personal responsibility for their own actions and uh, some of the negative things that black men have been complaining about. And I don't even want to say complain. Um, let's say bringing attention to because it's become so prevalent uh, when dealing with uh, black women in all aspects of, uh, of our lives we interact with uh, certain types whether it be on the job or you know at a restaurant or just watching uh, a YouTube show um, the show starts out with uh, Courtney asking the question why is it so hard for black women to uh, take accountability so um, she asked Anton, you know, and uh, Anton basically agrees with her that there is a, a problem and it needs to be addressed in uh, in the community. So uh, he says he doesn't think that it was, you know, it was appropriate for her to um, ask him the question. So Courtney then asks. Tawana the question why is it so hard for women to take accountability for the negative things that you know we see them display in public towards black men towards pretty much anybody in general and how uh, well let's just go on back to it we'll just that 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 was the question okay so, Tawana, in classic Tawana fashion, um, asked, what does accountability look like to you, Courtney? So, I have to ask, Tawana did go to college. I mean, she does know what accountability means, right? I mean, I don't know. This, this, this was, I was taken aback by this. So let's, let's look and see what accountability is so that we can help Twana out with this. So Webster's defines accountability as the quality or state of being accountable, an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility for one's actions. In this case, 
we're speaking in general. You know, we're, we're talking about black women that we see. We're not levying this towards Tawana. But it goes on to say that accountability doesn't mean punishment. Accountability is a willingness to accept responsibility for our own actions. Our meaning black women being responsibility for their actions when they are negative, when they are doing wrong. Why is it so difficult for them to say that I messed up? And most of the time when we hear this, I mean, what we get back is, well, I'll be accountable when you're accountable, black man. So then I have to ask, I mean, is that the way accountability works? I don't think so. So Courtney, um, basically says why can't black women you know own the things that we do that are negative aspects of our personality you know that we see you know with other black women we we why can't we just say that okay that thing that she's doing it's negative you know that shouldn't be what we as black women want to exhibit when we're in the public you know why can't we we say that that's a bad thing you know and Courtney goes on to say because we do we do we we are wrong we do wrong things you know so Tawana fell silent you know she she had no response for that so you know Anton was was a little tickled by this and um, you know he, he asked, asked JR to go ahead and you know play something in the sound effects department that was appropriate um, I was kind of tickled myself you know but everybody was just kind of taken aback by the fact that you know basically Tawana just you know she had no response for that so I think she had to gather herself because it was coming you know so to one of them says, you know, uh, I'm just not, you know, I, I can't answer for all black women. You know, I, I just can't do that because that's that's not what I'm going to do. You know, but this is this is always the beginning of what Tawana does, you know, in classic. an epic Tawana fashion, she basically falls back, you know, and this is. This is just a tactic that, that Tawana does, you know. Um, she refuses to acknowledge, you know, when there's a situation, whatever it is that you, you know, that you are talking about with regard to black women. It's difficult for her to to accept that it even exists in the first place. You know, she just will not acknowledge a difficult situation you know well it's difficult for her it's not difficult for any other you know anybody else I mean you know if anybody else was in that situation a reasonable person would say okay the situation is what it is so in order for us to address it we have to first acknowledge that there is a problem right so you know, Courtney says, you know, uh, uh, come on, Tawana. I mean, you have to see that that women are doing these things, you know, doing negative things that, that black men are basically having a problem with. But Tawana just, she can't, she will not, she will not relent. And she says that basically Courtney is describing her experiences with black women and that, uh, you know, Tawana can't, you know, I, I can't comment on what your experience is. All I can do is just acknowledge that you say that you're having 
this type of experience with black women, you know? And she says that I will not say, you know, this is Tawana. She says, I will not say that black women are not taking accountability. That's your experience. But I, I'm, I'm not around women like that. That's what, you know, that's what, what, what Tawana would have us believe. I myself, I personally find this disingenuous at best. Um, I can't go out and go to work. Um, I can't go anywhere and not see something that black women are doing that they didn't used to do because they had more respect for themselves and their mothers, their families than to do. But that's what they're doing now. I mean, from anything to wearing bonnets out in public, um, having bad attitudes. I mean, if you get their orders wrong, they act a, a fool. Everything is an enormous issue. You know, they can't blow anything off. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't the majority, but it's enough of them out there to be a problem to where, you know, somebody needs to say something about it. Are we to just act like we don't see it? I guess that's, that's Tawana's position. Um, but, you know, Anton calls Tawana out on it. You know, tells Tawana, you know, you, you're basically engaging in what about isms, you know. And we're not asking you to basically speak for all women. We just want you to just acknowledge that there's a problem. So then Tawana says, well, you know, she just, I, I can't say that I see women, you know, with these, these types of issues and, um, you know, Courtney says, well, what, well, let me go back. Tawana says, what, what negative issues? What are the issues that black men have with black women? As if she hasn't heard these things. I mean, before she went on Kevin Samuel's show, I mean, there was a lengthy conversation on her own show about negative attributes that black women were showing in a more prevalent fashion. But now we're, we're, we're expected to believe that, that all of that's gone out of the window and she just, she is not a member of our community and she doesn't see any aspects of black women's behavior that need to be changed. Now I got to ask you guys, I mean, can you accept that? Can you accept that a college educated black woman, you know, who professes that independence and education is the way and all of that, you know, can't acknowledge that there are issues that need to be addressed in our community? I think not. So Courtney goes on to highlight some of the issues that we as black men feel need to be changed, like bad attitudes, uncooperativeness. You know, she says that basically, you know, sometimes we as, as black women, we're just not that nice. So Tawana does what Tawana does. She says, I don't know that that's true. <laughs> so then she asked Anton, well, Anton, you're a married man. Your wife's black, right? So 
Do you go home to an uncooperative wife? My God. That is deflection at its best. Don't you guys think? I mean, that's moving the goalpost um, in such an eloquent way. You know, it's just it's just superbly done. I mean, it, it, I, I just can't put it into words how um, how crazy this was. So, yeah, OK, so Anton just basically just says, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Uh, no, we're, we're, we're not going to go there, Tawana. I mean, you're not going to, you know, basically move this to me and my wife's situation because basically my situation is different. You know, I don't have that problem. So, you know, I'm a different kind of individual. And that's not to say that there's not a problem with black women in the community. We're not talking about my woman. So, Tawana, I mean, I mean, you, you guys have to check this out. I'm going to put a link down there, but I mean, just, I mean, I want you to watch these, you know, these, these facial expressions and the, and the frustration that she feels when trying, you know, so hard, so desperately not to acknowledge, you know, any failings in black women. I mean, she feels, you, you can see that she's, she's trying desperately not to become a traitor to the negativity aspect of, of, of black women you know the negative club you know the strong black PhD uh, types um, the ones who feel like uh, it's not necessary for them to uh, be subject to any kind of rules or oversight from any man in our community you know the ones who just want to do what they want to do they just want freedom and independence don't tell me nothing don't ask me to do nothing just let me be me those types so you know moving along Twana claims to not see a problem, you know, with women and that she's not around women like this. You know, she's not around the take me as I am. You know, the women that, that Anton talks about, you know, being involved in slut walks and at a girl parties, you know, Tawana just says, eh, you know, I'm just not a part of those groups. The groups that I'm in, women are trying to, you know, to change. They're trying to listen. You know, I'm just not a part of the negative uh, women's groups. So, you know, you see at this point, she acknowledges that there are negative women groups where they basically try to tear down black men and, and basically make everything black men's fault. You know, whereas before she wouldn't even acknowledge that they even existed. I mean, it, it's just laughable. It really is, Tawana. It's laughable, you know. So, you know, The bad women do exist or they don't exist. I mean, which is it? I mean, if you, you either see the behavior, you don't see the behavior. You know, but. She just goes on and on with. But there are women like me who are trying, who are cooperative, not not trying to be cooperative. She says she is cooperative. But if anybody has spent any time watching this show. You know that Tawana is anything but cooperative. I mean, she's she's argumentative. She's uncooperative. Um, you know, she's pretty. 
And, you know, I think she's banking on those pretty points. You know, she always brings up her, you know, her relationship as, you know, the blueprint. You know, you know I, I have a successful relationship. I am getting married. We don't know what the date is. You know, it's just something that's just hanging out there. I'm at some point I'm going to get married and I have a, you know, I have a man and he supports you know, me and everything that I do and all of this, you know, but, you know, if you look at Tawana for any length of time, I mean, you got to ask yourself what kind of, I mean, what, what kind of, of, of exchanges go on in that relationship, you know, because she can't hide this behavior. I mean, this, this can't just be the behavior that she's having on the show. And I think everybody kind of sees that, you know, she gets extremely frustrated about basic basic issues that any college educated person should be able to take themselves outside of that and move from an objective point of view as if you're going to answer a question on a test you know if, if they ask me a question on a test I can't be offended by the question I just answer the question it has nothing to do with me that's how you get A's on the test that's how you get PhDs. And if you have an education, if you have a degree and you can't do that, then I have to ask, I mean, what's going on in these colleges? What's going on in school that so many women are educated and are getting out of school, but they can't engage in objective assessments of problems in their own communities, in their own daily lives. I think that's the question that you make us ask when we're watching this show, Tawana. I mean, and I think your your co-hosts are asking that same question because they're desperately trying to get you to see their side of things. And not just their side, but it's like looking out of a window and saying, look, there's a cloud. But Tawana says, eh, but there's a lot of sky. But no, we're focused on the cloud. Tawana, look, look at the cloud. You know, that's 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 what it's like looking at you. Try to evade these simple. Simple observations about whatever topic that 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 they're talking about so she basically continues to to you know make excuses and say that she's a part of of these groups and she sees so many women and this is where the anecdotal evidence comes in you know I, i see so many women that are doing these doing good things and and that are are trying to do better that are listening to to men and you know they you know they're doing all of this good stuff you know but that's not what we're talking about Tuana. we're talking about the women who are the problem why is it that you're part of these women that are doing all of these these good things but the women that are doing these good things aren't going out and saying, hey, dysfunctional woman, come over here with us and and let us show you how to be cooperative and how not to be a problem. And I realize that, you know, Tawana doesn't want to generalize black women and, and basically uh, have a situation where people are saying all all black women are like. But don't you think that by bringing these dysfunctional women into your your good girl groups that, you know, some good girl qualities can rub off on them. And then, you know, people won't generalize about black women. And it looks better if you go out and you police your own. You know what I mean? And it's better for us in general. If these women really want to be in good relationships and, and want to be, um, successful because it is successful for you to be in a relationship and to to have a functional relationship and be happy you know that is not a negative thing to be cooperative with a man 
you know, Twan always says that marriage is a partnership. I I don't believe that. You know, when when black women say that, it, it, it means yours is yours and mine is mine. And we'll come together and we'll discuss things like, you know, we're two equals in the situation and, and, and then we'll come to we will come to a decision. But that's not how it's supposed to work. But that's that's another topic entirely. So, you know, Courtney is basically she's pro-traditional and she's talks about how she was raised and how she was raised to basically be feminine and and um, to, you know, be cooperative with a, with a man and to basically move on to uh, a relationship and be successful in the relationship. And that is essentially her goal. You know, she espouses that on the show and, and she does it in a, in a pretty, uh, pretty eloquent way. She does say that that, you know, she does, you know, look at men's content and she does um, try to see both sides. She she is a part of uh, women's platforms. She consumes uh, content from women. She consumes a lot of uh, men's content as well. You know, she watches Kevin Samuels. She watches uh, uh, quite a few other people so that she can learn about men and what men want. Whereas Tawana takes a a, a separate approach and she, you know, she tries to use that as a negative towards Courtney and asking Courtney, you know, well, well, what are you, what are you listening to? Who are you watching? Are you only watching negative women? And, you know, are you only watching, you know, men's content, you know? So I think that was a bit of a jab at Courtney. And. You know, Tawana says, you know, that we see the women who, you know, fight men's advice, you know, but that's not all of us, you know, but Tawana seems, you know, to be okay, uh, closing her eyes to the problems, you know, instead of, you know, addressing what Courtney's talking about. And that's, you know, that's that's kind of crazy. So I'm just wondering, you know, myself, you know, why, why is it so hard, you know, for Tawana to acknowledge and to see this and to, to really even deal with it? Because, I mean, she goes back and forth a couple of times in the show and she says that basically why her other, you know, co-hosts were basically focusing on just the negative and she they basically laughed at her and they said basically you, you, you're you trying to act as if the problem doesn't exist and if we act like it doesn't exist then everything's better you know so You know, Courtney says that basically, you know, black, uh, you know, black women are trying to, you know, replace men, supersede us. And um, that's, you know, that's part of the problem that, you know, women are trying to basically take the place of the man in the relationship and not only take the place of him, but to be better than him in every aspect. And that's what's causing the dysfunction in our relationships. Tawana says she doesn't see it. I just don't see that. You know, I'm in a relationship and I'm not doing that and I'm getting married, you know? So, she takes everything personal. And um, I think that's that's a tactic also to basically divert attention from the real issue. You know, the elephant in the room. So black, I mean, uh, Tawana basically goes on to say that basically black men need to try to understand black women more. So Chicago Rilla asked her, so what does the black man get out of trying to understand black women better? When black women are basically saying that they don't need these types of black women, not black women in general. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. 
these black women, these negative black women that they're talking about on the show are basically saying that they don't need a man. They don't need to listen to a man. They don't really uh, want to be married. They don't want anything, any aspect of, of what a traditional relationship even looked like. Um, so Tawana says, you know, that again, that, that basically they're only looking at the bad women. And, uh, <laughs> that's just crazy. I think, you know, Tawana at this point, she just loses focus. If you look at her face, I mean, you can just see the frustration on her face. She, uh, she continues on with, with her anecdotal evidence and, you know, it really just degenerates into just nonsense at that point, you know, <laughs> she starts, you know, crying in the show and everything and says that basically she doesn't have anything to, to add to the show. Uh, and she feels like basically she can't see things from, from, from their perspective. And, You know, she starts talking about maybe she should leave the show. Um, it, it, it's crazy. You know, she she at one point she was talking about how, you know, basically the number of men that are available to these women are are just not, uh, you know, uh, it's not as high as everybody's saying. And basically um, she's saying that college educated, you know, um, uh, women are more uh, more uh, apt to, to get married and that's true but they're getting married later which is is another problem in itself that that we've addressed you know several times you know so you know she just she's just throwing out stuff so you know she starts talking about well you know the men, men you know men's sexuality you know limiting the number of men available which we all know that's that's just just bullshit you know so um <laughs> I, you know I, <laughs> I, it's crazy it's just crazy I'm just taking all of this in and and trying to get it out to you guys, but it's just, it's crazy. Just watching this is just, you guys just tell me what you think, man. I mean, but the, you know, Tawana, again, like I said, she just starts talking about leaving the show and, um, you know, starts crying. We find out that, you know, that Tawana's, you know, Tawana's pregnant, you know, so she's talking about leaving the show, you know, again, yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, okay, you're pregnant, you know. But like I said, I feel, and maybe I'm wrong for this, but I feel like she basically peeled back and she was trying to basically, she she fall, fell back a few times in the show towards the end, trying to basically play the victim and everybody, everybody let her, let her go ahead and, and fall back into that. Now, I, I, you know, hey, I like Tawana, you know. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't want to be coming down on her too much, but I mean, she opens herself up to that. Um, but she needs to, um, she needs to work on being objective and not taking things personally. And I just can't believe that you, you, you don't go outside of your house and you don't see these negative things because she says, you know, she said in another show that she was, a, uh, you know, she was, um, um, uh, some sort of, you know, I guess counselor or whatever. So, you know, and she, you know, dealt with, with, uh, some other situations. I think I'm gonna cover that in another show, but, uh, you know, I mean, that, that shows right there that you're disingenuous and, you, and you, you're full of it, you know, but you know, I want you guys to check it out. Tell me what you think. And, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to, uh, explore, uh, some of these other things, um, on Abuki's take on, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you like share and subscribe and, and you guys keep hanging out with me. Uh, hopefully my content's getting a little bit better. You know, I'm working on the visuals and whatnot. And um, thanks for hanging out with me. I think I'm going to finish my tea and uh, close this one out. You are listening to Abuki Cabal, the analytical savage. Alone.
Oh. Uh.